A common question type in the IELTS reading test is sentence completion. So, what does this task involve? In this question type, you have to fill in the gaps in a sentence using words from the text. There are a few things you have to be careful about. When you are completing the sentences, you'll be given a word limit of one, two or three words and or a number. Don't go over the word limit. The answers that you need are all in the reading text. You don't need to supply your own and in fact, you shouldn't do this. Be sure to copy the words from the text correctly. Be sure to check the numbers on your answer sheet too and write your answer in the correct space on your answer sheet. Now it's really important that you read the sentence carefully because the answer that you choose has to fit into the gap. It needs to make sense logically and it needs to fit grammatically. Also, check your answers to make sure you haven't written a word that is already there in the sentence. And spelling is important, so once again, make sure that you copy the words accurately from the text. Let's look at an example. Here is a short text about titanium. Look at the gapped sentence. Titanium weighs less than steel. Now look at the first sentence in the text. Although it is not as strong as steel, titanium is 40% lighter. Which idea is the best fit? Let's try each one. 40% lighter? Lighter less than? That's not right. We have two comparatives there. 40% less? Hmm, sounds good. What about this one? 40. 40 less? 40 what less? We need a number or a measurement. OK, so let's read out the second one. Titanium weighs 40% less than steel. Does that make sense? Yes, it's a paraphrase of what it says in the text. Does it fit grammatically? Yes. Are there any words being repeated? No, it's fine. Let's look at question two from the titanium text. This time the gap sentence says, metals such as tin ore can be used to make titanium stronger. Now look at the first part of the second sentence in the text. However, it can be strengthened by alloying with metals like aluminium or tin. Which idea is the best fit? Let's try each one. And aluminium? That's not right. We have two connectives there. Or aluminium? That's no good. We can't repeat the word or. What about the last one? Aluminium? Yes, that sounds good. Let's read it out. Metals such as tin or aluminium can be used to make titanium stronger. Does that make sense? Yes. It's a paraphrase of what it says in the text. Does it fit grammatically? Yes. Are there any words being repeated? No, it's great. Let's look at question three. The gapped sentence says, titanium is employed in the aircraft construction and industries. Now look at the second part of the second sentence in the text and then used in a wide range of applications in the petrochemical and aircraft manufacturing industries. Let's look at some possible answers for this gap. Petrochemical and aircraft? That's no good, it repeats the word aircraft. Manufacturing? No, that doesn't work either because manufacturing repeats the meaning of construction. So what about just petrochemical? Yes, that's a perfect fit logically and grammatically without repeating a word or meaning and it paraphrases the text. Those are therefore the three answers we write into boxes one to three on our answer sheet. We have followed the instructions ensuring we have no more than three words for the answer. So before we move on to more practice, 
Let's recap the keys to doing this task, sentence completion, well. You need to follow these steps. Read the instructions carefully to understand the word limit and where the answers need to be written. Look at the first gap sentence. Where is the gap? It may be in any position in the sentence. Guess the type of information that is missing. Is it a number or a name perhaps? Find key words in the sentence around the gap which are important for finding the missing information from the text. Scan for key words or synonyms in the passage. Put a mark on the text so you don't lose your place. Read the text and the gap sentences carefully to find the answer. Check that the completed sentence is grammatically correct and makes sense. Write the answer on the answer sheet. Check that the answer fits the instructions, including the word limit, and go to the next question. Now that I have described how to do sentence completion to you, why don't you take some time to read over this summary? Then, I'm sure you're ready to do some practice to help you build some more skills around doing sentence completion tasks.